continuing with Shavu Yipol Tzadik in Perik Dalad in page 90 on the bottom, Rabbi time. Today we want to see the comparison of what means learning Torah, how important learning Torah is versus saving lives, Rabbi Tai. A lot of times a person thinks that if you finoh lo oleinu chas v'shalom, Hashem yirach mo oleinu, shalom eda, Rabbi Tai. If a fire went on, on uh, if a house went on fire, and you know there's children in the lo oleinu there, or the family, and you're saving each one out, Rabbi Tai. Are you going to feel good about yourself? Yes or no? He's going to say, right, you're going to feel good about you. You're going to tell people over. And we're going to see over here, Rabotai is going to show that learning Torah even is stronger than all this Rabotai. Because a lot of times people think, guys, right? A lot of one, one time a rab, one time there was a Hatala member, which is very nice. They said, we need more Hatala members. The rabbi answered, it was very big Ashkenazi postic. He said, we don't need more Hatala members. We need more Torah to be learned. In order for there should not be any tragedies, Chas Shalom. When there's Torah, you don't need uh, Hatzal members. Again, they do a lot of work. Their mom is, uh, it's unbelievable the way they do. A few times they came to my house for the little kids. I'm just trying to show you, Rabotai, what means to learn Torah, how you can prevent a lot of the things from befalling upon you. So he says over here in, per, in uh, Shavi Yipol Tzadik, in Perik Dalit, Ube Megillah, in Masech Megillah, Dafta Zayin Amut Bet, Amr Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef said, Gadol Talmud Torah Yoter Mehatzalat Nefashot. Greater is learning Torah than saving lives. Vita'er Lola Adam Im Hayam Matil Nefashachat Bisol. Rabotai. Let a person try to imagine, let a person try to picture. If you would have said one person in the, from the Jewish nation, Shayaru Adam Shomed Lit Bobayam, Vahayam Matilo. You see somebody drowning in the sea, in the ocean, and you save them. How happy you would be, huh? You did something great. You feel accomplished. Right? He would have been happy like this all the years, all the days of his life. In every place, in every time. He would go and he would tell the story of his great accomplishment by saving this person 30 years from now. This person is going to thank him again and his grandchildren. Every, all the zuchut is going to go to the person that saved him. And he's going to always feel proud of himself. Not hori, but he did something good with his life. Rabbi is this careful. He says, He says, but isn't it true, Rabbi that one word of Torah, He was Rav Yosef is saying, that one word of learning Torah is much more important than saving another life, Rabbi Not to chas for some, so you're not allowed to, you shouldn't save. Rabotai, that's not what we were saying. We're just trying to bring out a point in the, the comparisons of what's important. If, for example, Reuven was learning Torah and Shimon was saving lives. Reuven's Torah learning is much more important. That's all we're trying to say. One word of Torah is much more than saving lives. Even the smallest word in the Torah, Rabotai, is much more important than everything else in the world. One small word of Torah. Again, we have to try to understand what... You see, the problem is, why don't we, why don't we sometimes take Torah seriously? It's because we don't look at it so important, Rabotai. If you know that a person is he's losing money, for example, in the stock market, he, the, the stock market says, buy out, buy out, you're going to keep on losing. He feels it because he knows what's happening. Or we, we don't understand it, so we don't take it so seriously. So we can watch TV, we can go play games, we can waste our lives, we can sit in the show five hours, Rabotai, but we don't have... That we're giving up precious moments where we can be building our olam haba. Ulakach Amr be Megillah Rabotai. Let's do this carefully. Yeah, we just passed Purim uh, a few weeks ago, uh, two weeks ago, one week ago. We just passed Purim Rabotai. Who said the Jewish nation? Mordechai and Esther. Rabotai, let's do this carefully. Al Mordechai Hatzadik Rabotai says in Masech Megillah, Al Mordechai Hatzadik Shila Acher Shinit Karev LaMalchut. When he became closer to the government, Vutzrach LeVatel Kitzat Natora. He needed to decrease a little bit, to know for a little bit from his learning Torah. Lekach parashume menes al hendrin vaya raka ratu lerov echav. Rabotai. Then the few people from the Sanhedrin they became separate from him, right? And then only a few people, only the majority, they only uh, they only appreciated or they liked him for what he did. Meaning, he says like this: Ubitchila hechashivu shishima achmi ador. In the beginning, he was six on the list, number six. Ula Akhir Kolanes, after the whole miracle, how he saved the Jewish people, which number was he? Shivi'i, number seven. How could it be Mordechai? If it wasn't for him, nobody would be here today. Nevertheless, the fact that he didn't learn Torah, even though he was saving Jewish lives, he went down to Madriga. And the Chacham, they were not found of that. 
Yeah, but he saved your life. If not for him, nothing would have been. Nevertheless, he says, doesn't matter. Rabotai continues and he says, Ula akhir kola nesa is shivi'im. Hagam shi'il malay Mordechai, Rabotai. Had it not been for Mordechai, lo haya amisot, there wouldn't be a Jewish nation. Vechol otam sanhedrim bizukhoto chayuvin t'kaimu, Rabotai. Because of Mordechai, all the Sanhedrin existed. And they lived only because of him. Ah, however, he says, Mikoma kom besofa shal dawa rabotai. We need to know the end of the thing is, Avad kitzad mikol chlimudor rabotai. Because the reason why he moved down a step, because he lost from the ko, from the learning of the Torah, the strength that he used to learn in the Torah. Unita'er latzmen rabotai, let's do this carefully. Imagine, picture in your mind rabotai. Shikol gudulei hador yushful adun. Take all the great giants of the generation, all of them. They're sitting down to uh, make a judgment case. I don't know, something the most important thing. Something that stands at the highest realm of the world. With them you have sitting many Roshay Yeshivot. With people, big donors. People that are going to donate a lot of money. They're going to come and they're going to donate big money in order for them to build buildings. Avura Yeshivot for the Yeshivot. Rabbot answers this carefully. Take all these Gedolim, take all these Rosh Hashivot, take all these big people that want to donate money. At that moment, Yoshev lo bachur levado bebeit a of a child, a boy. A person sitting and he's learning Torah at that moment, Mamish. V'yeshev v'yasog batura l'shma kera'u and he's learning Torah for the sake of Hashem properly. Shebevadai shebeoto rega ha'olam yamod. Al oto bachur shiyoshev v'osek batura. At that moment, the world stands, and only that boy, that person that is sitting and learning Torah. Why? V'lo akol otam gedolim shudogim shilot ishkach haTorah uki mordechai tzadik. And not on those gedolim that are worried that the Torah should not be forgotten, that the yeshiva should be built. V'chulu like mordechai tzadik. Why? Shemikom akom be oto shah einom skim batura. They're gonna, they're gonna start learning Torah eventually once they build the buildings. But at that moment, Rabotai, you take all of them, all the Gidolim, all the Rosh Hashiva, all the big people that they want to do good, Rabotai, and you have a boy that's learning Torah now, since he's learning Torah, he outweighs everybody else, Rabotai. Look at the Koach of Torah. If not Rabotai for the Torah, forget it. This is why we have to look at Torah, very important. Rabotai, I want to tell you, Masek Berchot in Tav Samach Aleph, Amud Bet, brings out a story with Rabbi Kiva and, pa- uh, and uh, Papius, do me a favor, give me my Masech Berchot, please. Give me the Hebrew one. Rabotai, I want to tell you, Rabbi Kiva, right? When the Mahud, they brought a decree on Rabbi Kiva and the old Jewish people, you're not allowed to what? To teach Torah. What did Rabbi Kiva do? He started gathering Jewish people and he would teach them Torah. But the problem would be, Rabotai, that he would, he would get caught and this is how they would actually skin him in the end. Thank you. There's different reasons why, because there's different reasons for that. One second. Rabotai, let's do this carefully, Rabotai. He says, Stand the guys, give me a few minutes. I just want to read through this Gemur. This Gemur just shows you what means to learn Torah, Rabotai, and what means to be Oisik Bitibur. Again, I'm not degrading, not this, not that. I'm just trying to show you what is important, Rabotai. I'll put it like this. If you have a rich guy, correct? Make it like, like this. Make it simple. If you have a rich guy, he can go out right now and do the job. Or he can hire people to do the job and he could go take on another job. What's better? To do the job or hire people to do the job and he could be taking care of everything else. To hire people, let them do the job. And he can, Rabotai, when you're learning Torah, you're helping the whole world. But when you're dealing with something individually, well, all you can do is help that person in uh, per se. Rabotai, look what the Gimor says. Guys, give me a few minutes. We might go over the time. But I want to read this, Rabotai. Masech Berhot of Samach Alam Amud Bet Tanu Rabbanan Rabbi Rabbi said the Rabbi taught Pam Achad Gizer Machud Arashah Shelo Yasku Yisro Baturah Right One time there was a Gizer of an evil kingship that the Jewish people should not learn Torah But Pam Ben Yehuda That's his name Pam Ben Yehuda Rabbi Tai Umatzol Rabbi Kiva And he found Rabbi Kiva 
שהיה מכיר קהילות ברבים ועוסק בתורה. He would gather people in public, not private, in public, and he would עוסק בתורה, לא עם תורה. אמר לי, אמר לי אחיבו, פאפוס בן יהודה סצו עקיבו, אי אתה מתראה מפני מלכות, why you're not afraid of the government? אמרו לו, he said to him, אמשול לך משל למה דבר, I want to show you to what is comparable. רבותיי, look at this, רבותיי, this is so אמת. לשואה שהיה מהלך על גבי הנהר, a fox was walking on the river bank, on the shore, הוא ראה דגים שהיו מתקבצים ממקום למקום, and he saw fishers that were jumping from one place to another. אמר להם, the fox said to the fishers, מפני מה אתם בורחים? From what are you running? אמרו לו, the fishers said to him, מפני רשתות שמביאים עלינו, because of the nest that the fishermen are throwing at us, they want to catch us. בני אדם, אמר להם, he said to them, the fox said to the fish, רוצנכם שתעלו ליבשה, if it's your will, רבותי, he said to the fish, come to the dry land, come to the seashore, to the river bank, ונדור אני ואתם כשם שדרו אבותיי, עם אבותיכם. Let's live together, the fox said to the fish, let's live together just like our forefathers lived. אמרו לו, they said, the fish said to the fox, אתה הוא שאומרים עליך פיקש לבחיות? They say you're the smartest out of all the animals? לא פיקח אתה אלא טיפש אתה, you're not smart. Rather you're טיפש. ומה במקום חיותנו? Look what the fish said, רבותיי. Just in, in the place that we live in our water. אנו מתיירים במקום ממלצתנו על אחת כמה וכמה אב אנחנו, one second, המתדו, על, 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 על אחת כמה וכמה. רבותיי, he says, if right now in our place we're afraid, how much more so, רבותיי? When we're not in our place, when we're going to go to dry sea where there's no water, there's, how are we going to survive? Rabbi so he says like this, Af anachnu. Rabbi Kiva told, Papas ben Yehuda, so to we, Rabbi Torah is mamish water to us, like fish need water. Without Torah, I'll be honest with you, Rabbi I do not know how people function without learning Torah. It's not like having, I don't, it's like not having air, I, I just don't understand. Rabbi he says, Af anachnu achshav, Rabbi Sha'anu yoshim v'oskim betorah. That we sit and we learn Torah. Shekatuv ba Rabotai. Anybody who learns Torah, ki hu hayecha v'orichemech Rabotai. This is the days of your length. It's going to lengthen your years, etc. He says, kach iman kach imanu holchim umuvatalim imenu al achad kamu v'kam Rabotai. If the Torah is our life, if it's our infusion, our breath, that we need to always stick to it. You want to tell me, it tells Papa Ben Yehuda, I should let it go. If I'm going to let it go, you know it's going to end up with me. Nothing Rabotai like fish. We could have that Torah chas v'shalom. Amru Rabotai, the Chazal continue. They say, Lo hayu yamim miotim Rabotai. A few days didn't pass. Ad shitavsul Rabbi Kiva. Until they called Rabbi Kiva, vechavushu be beit asurim and they put him into prison, jail. Vetavsul the Papas ben Yehuda. They put they called Papas ben Yehuda. Vechashvuhu etzo etzlo and they imprison him right next to Rabbi Kiva. Rabotai, listen to this carefully. Amru lo Papas. Me he vehicle in Khan. I'm a lawyer. Rabbi Kiva said to Papas, Who brought you over here? I'm a lay. Papas Ben Yehuda said to Rabbi Kiva, Ashrecha Rabbi Kiva. Praise worthy are you, Rabbi Kiva. You're lucky, Rabbi Kiva. She did pass a divri Torah that you were caught on. Words of Torah you caught because you were learning Torah. Oi, lowly Papas, woe to me, Papas said. She did pass a divri betalem that I was caught on divri betalem. Rabbi Tai put it like this. I'm not going to get into the sugyot. Rabotai, they ask a question. Do you know who Papas Ben Yehuda was? He was one of the gidolim of the time. To even think that he was doing Dibri B'Talim, idle chatter, idle things. Chas V'Shalom, Rabotai. Do you know what Papas was doing? He was mamish saving lives. He was trying to warn people of the evil government. And he called it Dvarim B'Talim. Rabotai, what do we see from over here? What it means to learn Torah, Rabotai. You can do mitzvah, you can daven, you can do all the chesed, you can do all the tzedakah. Rabotai, but if you do not have the Torah... I don't know how much of that you have, Rabotai. They need to go hand in hand. Baruch Adonai Lo'olam. Amen. Ve'amen. Rabbi Hanan ben Nekash Omer.